Welcome back guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at another API demo, another API use case. And in fact, today we're looking at companies house. So here in the UK, just a bit of context, any company that wants to trade in the UK has to register with the government and the register for, for doing that is on companies house. It's a government agency basically. And on companies house, you can, essentially you've got a treasure trove of information so in companies house you can find out things like basic company information you can find out uh detail on directors you can find financial statements you can find date of registration you can find out how many capital reserves a company has how many employees a company has it's a huge, there's a huge amount of data on Companies House. And uh, an even more interesting fact is that Companies House have a number of APIs that you can query to, to get to get access to the information. So here, for instance, I can find a company. Um, I want to search for a company. Uh, I don't know. I want to search for a company, uh, say a plumbing business. And straight away here, you can see I've got a number of companies with plumbing in their name. So I might be interested in this, for instance, this company right here. Um, I can look to see, you know, whether they're active or not, their registration address, when they were incorporated. So this firm was incorporated on uh, almost 10 years, uh, more than 10 years ago now. Um, you can see when the next set of accounts are due. Uh, and this company is actually, a. Uh, you can see the SIC code here, which is a, a classifier for industry. And bizarrely, this company is actually in, involved in pensions. So I'm not sure. Ah, you can see here plumbing pensions. Um, got nothing to do with plumbing and heating, bizarrely. But you can see other things like people. And you can see uh, active directors and secretaries. So here you can see this person is a secretary. This person is a director. Um, and this person is a director as well. So you can see loads of information on you know all, all of these different companies. And we've got one as an example here I want to show you guys called Plumbing and Bathrooms, an actual plumbing company based in Lancashire. So uh, you can see this company right here, uh, a firm registered in Accrington. Uh, you can see when it was incorporated last year. Uh, once again, you can see the nature uh, on, on the classification of the industry SIC codes. Again, plumbing and heating, 43220, uh, as well as 4399, which is for construction elsewhere, not classified. You can see the filing history and people. Uh, and really, this is what I want to drill down into. So on Companies House, you've got a number of different APIs, um, a number of different APIs. Uh, and probably the biggest one is this one here, Companies House Public Data API. And within here, you've got a number of different endpoints. So you can look at things like registered office addresses, just a basic company profile. You can look at offices and directors. Uh, you can look at filing history, whether insolvent, um, whether offices have been disqualified or appointed, or people with significant control. They may not be a director, but they may have a share in the company. And this is really interesting. There's a lot of government scrutiny, scrutiny right now on overseas based uh, people with significant control of UK companies. And you can actually get that kind of data from an API like this. So today what we're looking at, I wanna understand, I wanna see a list of directors for a given company. So here on the company offices API, you've got a URL and the parameter here really is company number. So with a company number, if we can provide the company number, it will return a list of offices for that company. So in our case, we've got this company right here, plumbing and bathroom. So in our case right here, we've got a company called plumbing and bathroom, and you can see the company number. We're going to use this in our API query. So let's get started. I'm in Jupyter Notebook right here. I've already written up my code, but I'll walk you through the code and essentially to give you an idea on how I've constructed the Python code for this. So for, on the first first cell, we've we brought in an imported request as a package to query APIs, no brainer. We've also brought in pandas as well. We're gonna use pandas to take our JSON data from the API query, and then we're gonna pass it through into dictionaries, uh, essentially normalize it so we can view it in a, in a friendly format in CSV. So I'm gonna run this first cell. Um, and then we've got two variables. So this is this is where you need to kind of be on the watch out here. You need an API key. 
So you need to register with Companies House and you'll get given an API key. And in my, in my case, I've already got an API key. I've pasted it in here and I've assigned it to a variable called API key. Uh, now this is where you put your put your API key. I'm going to mask this because this is my unique API key. I can't share this publicly. And then this is where you put in your company number. So remember, we've got a company number here, one four six one eight one five three. I'll paste it into the code right here. Assign it to a variable called company number. And now we can run our second cell. And now we need to enter the URL. So on, on the company offices page here, you can see the URL is given right here. Copy paste that and put that into your code. Assign it to another variable called URL. We're going to use an F string just to make sure, you know, Python has no issues reading the URL. And within here, you've got a parameter. You can see here by the curly braces and that's called company number. And that references the company number up above. So we've run this cell, just run it again. And we're going to run this one. And now on our next cell, we're going to start to return and basically run a get request against the uh, API. So we're going to assign a new variable called response. Again, request request is going to help us out here. We're running a, a get request against the URL. Uh, using our API key, we just want to see everything. So let's run that. Done. That's done because you can see the numbers changed to 23. Basically, it's executed. Now what we want to do is make sure the response variable returns a, a good positive, um, how do we say, response code. Boom, 200. So we're good. Basically, a response code of 200 is a good sign. If we had 400, that means our API hasn't worked. Our API get request hasn't worked. So now that we've got this working, we now want to pass it into you know a friendly format so we can view it. So we now create a new variable called data. We send all of our JSON data to the, assign it to this new variable called data. I'm going to run that. And I want to now view it. So now we're going to view, we're going to essentially print data, the variable data, and see what's under there. So here we go. Here we can see we've got one active count of one officer, which is correct because when you go into people, you can see we've only got one officer. So this is a good sign. You can see there's an e tag, which is interesting. You don't actually see that on the on the user front end on the <clears throat> on the uh, on the company's house website itself, which is interesting. You can see we've got a number of items, so this is all nested JSON. You've got address. Zoom in here. You've got address, address line, country, locality, postcode. Again, when this person was appointed. You can see the date of birth, which is really interesting, but you're not given the day. You're only given a, this is a value pair. You can see month is five and year is 1991. You can see the link to the company page. And then finally, we've got the name. So the name right here is Olivia May Robinson. And we can, we can see and verify that in fact, we do have Olivia May Robinson right here. So this is a good sign. And now we've got a whole, heap of data points, metadata, if you like, uh, related to this uh, officer assigned to this limited company. So now what we want to do is <clears throat> take all this data. Uh, I'm going to assign it to a new variable called officer list. You can call this whatever you want. I'll just call it officer list. I want to take all the items here and basically start a load that up into a list. Let's run that. And then I want to convert that officer list into a data frame in pandas, hence the PD and the DF short for data frame. I'm going to run that. Um, hasn't worked here. Officers list because I've got an S on the end here. I'm going to remove the S. Run that again. Whereas here I've got no S. So be careful here. So I'll just run that again. And now I want to print the data frame. And voila, we've now got our data frame. So here you can see we've got the address. We've got when they were appointed. So appointed on the 26th of January 2023 which is correct, 26th of January, 2023. We can see a few of the data points, obviously country of residence is UK. The date of birth, once again, an interesting format. It's we're only given a month and a year. We're not actually given the full date of birth, I think for data privacy reasons. And you can see the, uh, the officer's name, um, as I mentioned before, Olivia May Robinson, nationality, occupation, Perfect. And now I can export this to a CSV file and print done. Uh, sorry, uh, run this to a CSV file. 
let's run this one. Uh, it would help if I exit the file that I'm trying to run to. So I'll run this one, run this one, run this one, and run this one. So it's all done. Really, you can just run all of it uh, like this. And, and you can see now that we've printed and finished the script. I can then open up where I've say what I've kind of ex exported this to and now we can open it up in Excel and and see that we finally got our results. Now if I'm honest this is not yet in the format and shape that I'd want so you can see here I'd want to kind of split this out or convert this so instead of month equals five and year equals um, 1991 I might want to do something like this I might want to just do May 1991 so I might want to, you know, use Python a bit more to kind of get to this format here. Similarly, I might want to break down the address. You can see here I've got address line one, country, locality, postcode. You might want to split address down further and then have a subset of columns, postal code being BB50EY. And again, you can use Python to do that and drill that down. Um, and this code now I can reuse for, you know, for multiple companies. So let's take another company real quick and I'm going to wrap up on this point. Let's just search again for plumbing. We'll take another plumbing business. Um, let's take uh, this one here, Home Care Plumbers Limited. Just make sure there's offices assigned here. We've got this officer right here. Uh, Ayub is his name. I'll take the company, take the name. I'm just going to get out the file here. So I'll take this company name, uh, this company number rather, make sure it's trading, it's active. Yes, it's active. Um, I'll take the com company number, we're gonna paste it into our code, go back to the top, paste it in here and run the entire script. Uh, and once again, we've got Ayub turn up in our results. So guys, really short, simple way to query data from company's house. Um, there's a lot here, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm, I'm only showing you company offices, but in future, we'll take a, a more of a deep dive into this. I want to look into the document API. I want to look into the streaming API in future um, and more, more endpoints surrounding the public data API references here. Guys, I hope this has been useful. Um, as always, if any of you are looking for support and help on APIs, do reach out to me, skillswithsid at gmail.com. Um, I work with businesses, small, medium businesses, anyone who needs to get data out of company, company's house, I can support you, provide you with consulting and consultation. We can have an initial free chat. But, you know, if this has been useful, if you're doing any work on APIs and Python, I hope this is, is, is of useful reference. And, and I will come back to company's house in future. We will look at more. And in fact, we may develop and build on what we've already started here with this code and we'll, we'll reformat it so it's in a more nicer, cleaner format. And we'll look at in future a list of companies and company codes and we'll loop through every single company number so we can extract all the directors associated with a list of company numbers. And that would then allow us to extract the data and enrich a you know a our own data set on company's house and from there we can do a whole heap of other things and business use cases um, to, to consider guys thank you for watching hope you like this video and i hope to see you on the next one thank you take care